The Sola Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 2, Sunday, Bedtime, Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord, Psalm 86, verses 3 and 4. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. The readings, suffering at the hands of others. 3 John chapter 1, verse 11. Beloved, Follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13-18 to 18. And who is he that will harm you, if ye be followers of that which is good? But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always, to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that, whereas they speak evil of you as of evil doers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing, than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. The last reading, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Psalm 10. Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait, secretly, as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor, when he draweth him into his net. He coucheth and humbleth himself, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite, to requite it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee, thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man, seek out his wickedness, till thou find none. The Lord is king for ever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Let us pray. Psalm 55, verse 22a. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Luke 2, verses 29 to 32. Lord, Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine enemies have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause here and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying for all those persecuted for their Christian faith.
a plea for mercy. Psalm 70, verse 1. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Psalm 3, verse 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.